हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 33 यू नो ऑलरेडी 32 लेक्चर्स कवर्ड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द बुक वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एम आर स्वाइजर बुक यू नो दिस इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट बुक फॉर द फिजिक्स एंड एज वेल एज फॉर मैथमेटिक्स एनालिसिस एंड यू नो इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू से दैट दिस सॉल्व द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम 4.100 दैट इज 4.100 टू 4.102 ऑफ द चैप्टर व्हिच कंसिस्ट ग्रेडिएंट डाइवर्जेंस एंड काल ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन 4.100 you know that uh, this question says that th this is a identity vector identity and for this you need to process a long calculation that's why i print uh, this can this calculation you can see that uh, sorry i want to change my pen color okay okay so a cross b is nothing but the this, this is cross product and curl of a cross b just take the curl of a cross b you can see this is the term and just derivative partial derivative with respect to this you get this term there is 24 terms 1 2 3 4 4 8 uh, 3 24 terms total 24 terms okay there is total 24 terms and just uh, go to the we find out the individual term just find out the individual term okay this individual term uh, here i found this individual term and for that and this is the i cap j cap k cap divergence of this and then uh, I, my motto is to take i cap as a common j cap as a common with respect to that and k cap and finally if we add it then this term are cancel out okay this term are cancel out and only getting the term which is equal to which term already get in this so this is a long process i want to uh, uh, i want to share this pdf file in the comment section you can take the download yeah, you can download this pdf file and you can check the derivation okay so this derivation is very long process that's why i want to prefer to download the pdf and check the okay Sim similarly this is an uh, vector identity this is also a vector identity and this identity also can be derived after a long process long calculation process that's why i take uh, uh, in the in the scan copy and you can say uh, here divergence of say just just a dot b and divergence you get one two three uh, six six into three 18 terms total 18 terms okay total 18 terms and find the individual term these two term already calculated in the previous question these two term already calculated in the previous question these two term need to calculate it and and this was calculated here just simply call of a and then cross with b vector you get this three, three, three term four in each term that is and finally uh, this also calculated and finally just when you add up four terms you get the similar to the left hand side that's why in this process you can prove these two identities this is a long <laughs> very long process you can check by downloading the pdf file which are in, will be given in the comment section okay so go to the next question next question says that so that a vector is a irrotational you know to check the rotational or irrotational you need to find out the curl of this vector so curl of this a vector is nothing but i cap j cap k cap del del x del del y del del z and this is the 6xy plus z cube this is 3x square minus z this is 3xz square minus y okay so this is nothing but i cap this is del del y of this with respect to y the uh, uh, respect to y the derivative is minus y with respect to z this is also minus of minus 1 plus j cap with respect to z this will be 3 z square minus with respect to x this will be 3 z square right 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 okay and k cap uh, this is with respect to x this is 6x 
minus with respect to y this is also 6x so this will be 0 this will be 0 this will be zero. total is 0 since curl of a 0 so we can say a is so a is e rotational e rotational e rotational so this is a rotational okay then find out phi such that a equals to grad phi you know uh, you know the identity curl of grad phi is 0 since curl of a is 0 so we can say a equals to grad phi now we need to find out the uh, function phi so let's start mm, okay so uh, so we can say uh, a vector equals to grad phi uh, grad phi is nothing but i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y plus k cap del phi del z and if we compare with the a vector this is nothing but a vector so we can compare the i cap j cap k cap coefficient so we can say del phi del x the coefficient of i cap the coefficient of i cap is 6 x y plus z q 6 x y 6 x y plus z q so you can say phi is with respect to x if we integrate with respect to this this is x square by 2 so 3 x square y and this is the z to the power 4 by 4 with some constant c1 this is take as phi 1 similarly del phi del y is nothing but the coefficient of y coefficient which is 3 x square minus z 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 so phi 2 can be written as see, phi 2 can be written as now uh, with respect to y this integration 3 x square y and minus y z some constant c2 and del phi del z del phi del z actually this function will be y z and so on uh, i write down this is a constant okay now and the next one is the 3 x z square minus y 3 x z square minus y so phi 3 can be written as with respect to z this will be x z q by 3 so this will be x z q minus y square by 2 plus some constant okay so total phi can be written as 3 x square y plus z to the power 4 by 4 z to the power 4 by 4 plus this is repeated term we cannot write repeated term minus y z plus x z q minus y square by 2 with some constant c okay this is the function of phi this is the function of phi this is the function of phi okay uh, i think this is the function of phi this is the function of phi i think uh, i think this is okay a vector 6 x y plus z q with respect to x this is x square by 2 so 3 x square y and so on and this is the with respect to y 3x square y okay 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 so there is any uh, okay uh, i just did it i think this is okay z q y 3 and this y square by 2 uh, and and okay i think this is okay 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 this is the function of phi such that a can be written as the grad phi grad phi is this okay so just compare these three you get the answer okay uh, thank you this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can contact with me for any query physics related by whatsapp or telegram channel and you can go to the youtube channel my youtube channel and can see the others video share this video to your friends as that he also get the benefit and subscribe to this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the upcoming video we will meet in the next video as soon as possible take care thank you